Hey Hidden. Thank doing? you so much for allowing us to come into your home and interview today. We're celebrating the release of your sophomore album, correct? Yes. And what is the title of that sophomore album? Uh, it's Graduation from Color. Okay, now you got to explain that to us. What, what is Graduation from Color? Um, you know, coming from like the neighborhood I came from and things that I've have experienced have always been talked about um, racism. Growing up in the South in Alabama, and I believe that there's a whole bunch of boxes that we have, systematic boxes that keep us divided from each other. And um, so one of the things that I wanted to say is like, you know, one of my graduation or coming out parties is me graduating from color. I mean, me moving beyond the idea of racism, one of the biggest boxes I think that separates us. Okay. Did I answer your question? Yeah, you definitely answered our question. Thank you so much. Um, so explain to us, we have we heard that there's this movement that you have going on that black and white is a concept, not a people. Did I get it right? That's correct. Okay, so can you explain to us that movement? Um, I was having a discussion at, uh, with you know, my business partner, and we were talking about how everything concerning racism is about the oppressed and the oppressor. There's nothing in between, right? Um, and so when you say black, disenfranchised, you know, uh, no hope, hopeless, no culture, being stripped of your culture, you know, when you say white, rich, elitism, all of these different titles and, you know, all these, uh, different things come into, into play. So when I say black and white is a concept, now people, what I'm saying is we, you see children tutored into this way of thinking. They're not necessarily born this way at all. They they buy into this concept. And so we bought into this concept that's become a culture. It's an unnatural um, form that has made us think that we've got these set of values, but it's really not a set of values. It's someone else is thinking to keep us divided. So are you saying that you're colorblind, that you don't see color? I'm not saying that I don't see color because obviously... Um, a guy I went to high school, what we used to call a night crawl. He was just so black. He was definitely black. And, you know, so no, I'm not saying that, man. But it's just like, who you are, you know, as I said in my videos, you're human. Or as I say in my music, you're human. And that's the first quality. That is the biggest quality. And we come in different shades, form, and fashion. But at the end of the day, you know, who we are is what makes sense of it. That makes sense? So let me summarize. So basically they're saying that the idea of black and white is a concept. It's not just based on skin color, but you can see there's beautiful cues of different people all over the world, but first you see them as human right. who may happen to have brown skin or tan skin or, or things of that nature. Right. Right. So what are you hoping to get with this movement? Um, I think, one of the, look, don't stall me. I think Donald Trump was an amazing addition for it. Because a lot of people that would not talk, we kind of get a chance to see how they feel, um, which is a good thing, you know, like, I know that we live in a climate now where for you to say anything, people get upset, they're like, oh my God, you know, and it's just like, but, but we need to speak. So I think what this album does is it creates a an opportunity for people who never got a chance to voice their opinions for backlash purposes, get a chance to speak and we can get to a place of healing. Not to bash each other, but we need to listen. We're not listening anymore. It's just, this person said that, so now I need to come with a bigger response. You know what I mean? Okay. So, let's talk about your first uh, single that you're releasing from the album, White Pair of Shoes. So, is that really what you're trying to go for in the concept? Explain to us the concept of White Pair of Shoes. Alright, so White Pair of Shoes, Line is you have you have a, a, a brother you got two brothers white brother black brother um, father America right mother Africa because we're all from Africa all right um, the setting is the quote unquote white brother's experience and the questions that he has like you know he's like man I look up to my my brother I love my brother but his father constantly tries to put these ideas in his mind and so he's wrestling with his father trying to get him to understand that trying to understand his father's perspective you know his father's like watch out for these guys over here it's negative energy um, you know and I'll take care of you just do things my way but then he's got this issue with his mother right where uh, mother Africa is looking at him and saying you have the blonde hair the blue eyes the white physique and because of that all I see is your dad that's all I see and so 
he's in the middle with all these questions like, man, like, mom, I'm not my dad. Dad, I don't want to be like you. So, um, this is the details of his story. As an African, is that a term that I can use? Because I know we're, we're talking about... I'm not sure. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure that you can call because me an African American. Your, in your storyline, you're saying basically, for the most part, we're all African American because your okay, father is, is American and you're saying that everyone comes from Africa. So as African American, do you really think you can portray and understand what it's like to be quote unquote white in America and not racist in this this uh, racial climate that we have. I think so. Um, I've often said, I've often said that if you've been disenfranchised, you know what it's like to be on the, on the bitter end of the stick. Excuse me. And I believe that innately, because we are kings and queens, um, you know innately what it feels like to be royalty, wealthy to have the best of things. So I think it's easy to be able to relate. I think it might be a little bit harder for people that haven't experienced certain things, uh, like being disenfranchised from that perspective. It must be harder for them to grasp. And I think that might be one of the problems that we have, is that one group is saying, look at where I came from, look where our ancestors came from. And other people are like, yeah, but it hurts my feelings for you to say that because I'm reminded of the reality that of what my family member did. But if we all see each other as family, like you said, of African Americans, uh, although I can't say I'm an American technically without trying to sound crazy because the Constitution was not really written for me. So how what would really classify me as an American besides the fact that I have paperwork here? I mean, yeah, I mean that could be a whole other conversation. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't know. I have to say, you really brave to tackle an issue like this, especially with our current racial climate. I mean, you have, you know, the, what are they calling the white nationalists, um, to be politically correct. Um, you have the Black Lives Matter, not that they're equal groups, but I'm saying we have very racially motivated groups that are going on right now. And it seems like you're trying to bridge something there. Is that, am I catching what you're trying to do? Yeah, because like, like I said in, in, in my, one of my videos, I'm really looking for the in-betweens. And what that means is like, Again, like we have this idea set up like you're either this or you're either that. You're either the oppressed or you're either the oppressor. But there's the in between. There's the people that's like nervous. You know, like I want to talk about it. I want to tell, you know, somebody else. If, if I'm a white person, I want to say I love you to a black person. You know, but they might perceive what I'm saying like, oh no, you're just like your your your, your father or whatever. And or it might go the other way. But we also have. <laughs> black supremacists you know I'm reading articles and, and, and paperwork that you know you got religious organizations saying the white man is the devil he's Edomite which biblically Edom was a brother so I don't really understand that but basically things are reversing around so it's this is for the in-betweeners the people that really care about what's going on the people that's like I really want to unthink what I've been thinking I, what I've been trained I realize this is a concept and a construct that I want to get rid of. It's about taking away labels. What does it mean to... Because humans almost a label. What does it mean to be human to you? Um, to me, like, what human beings um, is that you, you've you always been something, but you come from something. Now, let me break that down. So, like, I look at this body as a uniform, but I believe that we are spirit. I believe that we are a piece of God placed in the earth to dominate this planet. Um, and to share, not to rule over each other, but to dominate this planet. And you and I have this set of giftings or skill sets that we're passionate about. And when we take that, we master that craft, and we share it with the world, it's something amazing. It's electric, it's magnetic, and it causes other people to um, want to figure out who they are. So, human, I would say, from the dirt, a, a piece of God. So, that's why I say you're human. Getting back to the fact that you are spirit. You have a great quality. You're not this caveman person that's just, you know, banging on their chest trying to figure out how to get through. You are amazing. 
you know? Oh, I'm getting goosebumps over here. So, how do we get to join the movement? That, let's get to the bottom line. So, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to areyouhidden.com. That's A R E Y O U H 1 D D 3 N.com. It's the first thing you gotta do. When you go there to that page, there's a pop up that's gonna come up asking you to subscribe. Okay? Leave your information there. Now, how can you really get this across to people? You're gonna, I got stickers, I've got uh, bands, and let me tell you, let me just tell you something about this band real quick. I was in Maine, all right? I went into a place to get something to eat. The lady saw the rubber band and was like, oh my God, more people need to talk about that. And in the middle of that shop, all the people there began to talk about this. That's, that's how you get part of the movement. You get the rubber band, get the sticker, stick it on cars, leave it in, 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 in uh, restaurants, Chipotle's, McDonald's, you know what I mean? Leave this out there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you the whole album. Right? Because that's what it's about. That's how you can, you know, really spread the word is by wearing it, you know, and by sticking it somewhere. Sticking it on your bumper or your car so they can understand this is a concept. That's, and that's how we can do it. So let me get this straight. We join the movement by getting, a, getting the stickers, getting the bracelet, and you're going to give us your complete album for free. I'm going to give you the whole album for free. Right? You know, well, so, how much does the sticker and the bracelet cost? Man, it's only ten bucks. Man, you don't, you know, it's like you donate. You give, you, you give the ten bucks, and and I'm giving you the whole album, man. Um, and and then I'm depending on you to show how much you really believe in this. You know, I feel a lot of people saying it's important for them to to tackle this. And there needs to be some more conversation. Well, here's the conversation. So it's put up or shut up. Here's this. Also, here's here's something that makes it even better. We're gonna start doing forms. I want you to know what your money's going towards. Um, we're gonna do a conference, um, and we, we're gonna be coming to your city. I'm telling you, and we're gonna put these people together, and we're gonna have this discussion. We're gonna we're gonna actively get out there and move. You know, those people are gonna get to ask questions, and maybe there's some things that you want to get off your chest. You know, I don't know. So you know, that's why you gotta subscribe. Go get that rubber band. Go get that wristband. Go get that sticker. And let's make it happen. Right? So. Join the movement comes with benefits. That's right. Nice to hear. Thank you again for bringing us to your home. I know we're cutting up your family time, so we'll cut it short. But just thank you again. Everybody, make sure you join the movement. Black and white is a concept, not a people. Let's go out and change the world. Wah, 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 wah,